Beautiful people, hope everybody out there is taking care of yourself in this amazing reality we create for ourselves. Today, an important message and one that took me some time to learn myself. And only recently I've gained new insight on this spiritual topic. And I think that those of you out there who have been enjoying the sporadic content lately that is very spiritually related and maybe not so much about semen retention, but don't get it twisted, okay? Still standing strong on your semen retention streak. It's very important in today's world. But today, everybody in the spiritual community loves to talk about love, light, high vibrations, attracting the correct person for you, um, keeping a positive energy. This is all very true, and you should take these things very seriously in your day-to-day world. But recently, I've discovered that accepting the darkness and really understanding and becoming more aware of the darkness that is inside of you, of the shadow self, is going to elevate you spiritually more than any amount of positive love light energy that you could put out there into the world and i am and have always been a glass half full optimistic character who holds a very strong positive mindset i have always been this way okay ever since i was a kid and still to this day i am this way So for me, it is difficult to go into the depths of my soul and shine awareness on that side of me. Because for the longest time, this is where the insight was missing in my life. Because when I would engage in those dark activities, those dark thoughts, maybe those negative emotions, maybe I was going through something, something would happen to me, the universe would bring a lesson to me. Instead of, instead of accepting it, instead of riding those emotions, instead of feeling those emotions deeply, and working through them and understanding myself better, I would try to bury them. And this would ultimately lead me down darker and darker paths without me realizing, but I would try to keep the positive mindset. I would try to, you know, do those things. And I'm here to tell you that when you accept the darkness and go into the depths of yourself, the universe will actually send you downloads. Because here's the kicker, you're moving into, and this was for me, from my perspective, I personally was moving into a frequency of shame, a frequency of guilt, whenever these things would arise, when I would feel these negative emotions and I would do negative things or think negatively. Shame, guilt, fear, all of these emotions would arise all of these frequencies would arise and I would be vibrating at a frequency of shame and guilt. Recently, I have accepted that dark side of myself and instead of feeling the shame, instead of feeling the guilt, I understand that life and this spiritual journey, you must accept these things and you must learn the art of dying just as the earth goes through all these seasons and astrologically just as there is a new season in every time every 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 month whatever the case is that the stars are always changing you need to understand that when you operate from a frequency of acceptance a frequency of love understanding that maybe this is the season where i am supposed to die And that sounds crazy to say. Let me park this car. That sounds crazy to say, but maybe this is the season where you are supposed to die. Not literally, not physically supposed to die. But spiritually, mentally, maybe your habits take a huge hit. Maybe you start doing stupid stuff. Okay? Instead of 
feeling terrible about it, getting angry at yourself, allow yourself to go through those times. Allow yourself to receive a dark night of the soul. In spiritual practices, many people talk about the dark night of the soul and the importance of it. But a lot of people take this dark night of the soul ideology and think that it's all this suffering and you're supposed to suffer and you're supposed to go through these very difficult times. And in reality, it's all a beautiful lesson that the universe has sent your way and God has sent your way waiting for you to receive the proper messages from that death. And I was holding on for the longest time with these extremely strict disciplines. And when I would fall off the wagon, I would fall, I would continue to keep falling off the wagon, falling and falling and falling. I'm here to tell you that you need to accept that side. And I know I've said it multiple times in this video. And I know this video is kind of long-winded and crazy. But I just felt this on my heart to speak to you guys. And I know that the right ears will hear this. Because life is a, is a situation where there's always going to be difficulties. There's always going to be challenges thrown your way. Lessons sent to you, guided to you. And if you don't accept these lessons and maintain the frequency of love, maintain the frequency of acceptance of self, because you're always going to experience these lessons, they're going to keep coming. And if you don't maintain that frequency, you're going to follow the circle loop of those same lessons repeating. This is huge. This is huge right here. You're going to follow the same circle. It will continue to teach you the same lesson until you tell yourself, I accept me. I accept the challenge. I accept the lesson. Thank you. I'm grateful for this to teach me these things. I accept being this person who is literally all of my disciplines are falling. Everything I've been working towards is falling. I'm grateful for this lesson. Until you reach that point, you're going to continue this, this this circle, this cycle of the same situation in other realms or terms continues to keep popping up. Maybe it's the same girl, the same man who has similar traits and similar boundaries they're setting or similar things they're saying to you that you just can't keep, you can't accept. Or maybe you're falling off of your semen retention streak over and over again. You're repeating the same cycle and every time you do, you feel shame, you feel guilt. These, the, This is the message that was supposed to be delivered to you. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.